Hello and welcome to my next top 10 list. Today's top 10 list is the top 10 vampire hunters in comic books. Our number 10 vampire hunter is Carl Vincent. Carl is a reluctant vampire hunter that loses everything in his desperate attempt to rid the world of Nosferatu. He was a detective at one time, but was fired for his obsession with vampires and now calls himself a paranormal investigator. Carl's wife thinks he's crazy and wants a divorce. His oldest son, Keith, won't even talk to him after he told his high school class on career day that he was going to quit his job to hunt vampires. It seemed like a good idea at the time. The first six issues of the comic book Carl Vincent Vampire Hunter adapt the novel Last Rites through Return of Sebastian Vassilis, published by KRG Publishing. The novel is being turned into a major motion picture by Crisp Filmworks. The number nine vampire hunter on our list is Peter Vincent. He's one of the two protagonists in the film Fright Night, the other being Charlie Brewster. Between 1988 and 1993, Now Comics published 27 Fright Night comic books. The original film was adapted as the first two issues of the series. Fright Night 2 was adapted as a standalone graphic novel, and the rest of the issues consisted of original stories following the further exploits of Peter Vincent and Charlie Brewster, who teamed up to battle a vast array of vampires and monsters. Amy Peterson and Billy Cole only appeared in the first two issues, but Evil Ed returned to become a constant foil and Jerry Dandridge was ultimately resurrected and had just begun to amass an army of Parisian vampire prostitutes when the company filed for bankruptcy and production was abruptly halted in 1990 with issue number 22. After corporate restructuring, a series of four annual issues were released between 1992 and 1993, three of which were 3D reprints and one which was a previously unpublished story. The number eight vampire hunter in our list is Tig. She's from DC's I, Vampire, featuring Lord Andrew Bennett. Soon after Mary, Queen of Blood, has her vampire horde come out of hiding to attack mankind, Andrew Bennett and his old friend John Troughton go searching for remnants of Mary's horde in Boston. In an abandoned building, they come across Tig, a young hunter who's sensing Andrew is a vampire, attacks without question. Troughton eventually gets her to stop as she comes to find that Andrew is different. Wanting to help hunt Mary's horde, Tig joins Andrew and John on their quest to find and kill Mary. It's soon revealed that Tig's father had become a vampire and had almost killed her in the process. The number seven vampire hunter on our list is Anita Blake. The series is narrated in the first person by Anita, who works in St. Louis, Missouri, as a professional zombie raiser, vampire execution and supernatural consultant for the police. The early novels focus predominantly on crime solving and action. The later ones on Anita's personal and sexual relationships and powers. The series takes place in a parallel universe where supernatural creatures and powers are real and their presence is public knowledge. Supernatural beings are considered citizens with most of the rights of regular humans. In 2006, Marvel Comics and Dabble Brothers Productions begun production on a graphic novel adaptation of the first three books in the series, beginning with Guilty Pleasures, Hamilton worked with Stacey M. Ritchie on the comic scripts until 2008. The first adaptation was well received, with the first volume of The Laughing Core being a New York Times bestseller in the graphic novel category. Interest in the series declined, but Marvel completed its contract for the first three novel adaptations in 2012. The number six vampire hunter on our list is Angel. Spun off from Buffy the Vampire Slayer in 2007, Angel began appearing in two canonical continuations of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel from Joss Whedon. The first of these was Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 8, published by Dark Horse Comics, which continued the story of the Buffy television series. Later that year, Whedon and IDW Publishing released the series Angel After the Fall, which continued on from the series finale of Angel. The two series were published by different publishers due to Dark Horse initially giving up the rights to licensed Angel comic books several years ago when the series was still on the air. In Dark Horse's Buffy continuation, Angel initially appears to feature in Buffy's dream sequences, but is later revealed to have been in the series from the beginning. He then features substantially in the remainder of the series. Angel features as a central character in IDW's After the Fall. However, this has no crossover with the events of Buffy. We didn't devise the storyline for After the Fall, issue 1 through 17, with writer Brian Lynch, but did not write for the series himself, as with Buffy. Beginning with the 18th issue of the series, IDW chose to continue telling Angel stories in an ongoing comic book with rotating writers and artists. 
In the continued series without Whedon's involvement, Angel engages in episodic adventures, while the series also takes breaks to focus on other characters. When rights to Angel settings and characters reverted to Dark Horse, IDW promised to end their ongoing Angel series with its 44th issue in 2011. They began negotiations with Dark Horse so that it would bridge continuity with Season 8 and the upcoming Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 9. Its final Angel story is the hardcover send-off Angel Yearbook. During its tenure, IDW also published various miniseries depicting Angel and related characters, such as John Byrne's Angel, Blood and Trenches. The number five vampire hunter on our list is Solomon Kane. Solomon Kane is a fictional character created by the pulp era writer Robert E. Howard. He was featured in several comics published by Marvel in the 1970s and 1980s. Dark Horse Comics began publishing a new series of Kane stories and also published collections of the 1970s Marvel stories in 2009. He was the lead character in the six-issue limited series Sword of Solomon Kane, published in 1985 through 86. He also appeared numerous times in the company's black and white, non-code approved magazine format comics, most frequently in Savage Sword of Conan, starring Howard's most popular pulp character. The first two arcs of their next series featured completed versions of two Howard fragments, The Castle of the Devil and Death's Black Riders. The first issue picks up Kane traveling through the Black Forest after ending his military career. It was a five-issue miniseries based on Castle of the Devil. The first issue was published in September 2008. The second arc, Death's Black Riders, was a four-issue series published from January 2010 to June 2010. The third arc, Red Shadows, had its first issue published in April 2011. Red Shadows based on a Robert E. Howard story and previously interpreted in Marvel Premiere number 33, beginning in 1976. It follows Solomon Kane as he tracks Le Loup, an expert French swordsman and womanizer with a habit of killing his conquests through Europe, across the Mediterranean and down the west coast of Africa. The number four vampire hunters on our list Edgar and Alan Frog. Lost Boys, Reign of Frogs, is a four-issue comic book miniseries that was published by Wildstorm, and the story is set between the original Lost Boys movie and Lost Boys The Tribe. The story starts out in Luna Bay, California, shortly before the events of The Tribe. A young child enters into Edgar Frog's surfboard shop, looking to become his next apprentice. He is subjected to a few tests in order to determine if he is a vampire. After his humanity is established, Edgar turns him down and the boy mentions training with his brother, Alan Frog, instead. Edgar tells the boy to be quiet, and then starts to tell him a story. The story then leads into a flashback of the Frog Brothers' hunting days in Washington, D.C. in 1990. They hunt a series of politicians and a job for the president. The boy expresses skepticism that the president would hire them for such a task, and Edgar tells him how many politicians over the years were vampire slayers. The story then leads to another flashback in the year 1990, where the Frog Brothers are returning to their comic book store in Santa Carla. When they arrive, they think their parents are dead, and David from the original movie appears along with a crew of new vampires. The number three vampire hunter in our top ten list is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. While many of Buffy's comics were published when the television show was on the air, they are not all considered canonical and often deal with characters who do not appear on the television series, most notably in the Tales of the Slayers and Tales of the Vampires miniseries. The books were published by Dark Horse Comics between 1998 and 2004, originally in comic format, but then gathered into volumes of trade paperbacks. A small number of Buffy comics have not been included in trade paperbacks, such as the books entitled Giles, Jonathan, and Reunion. Series creator Joss Whedon and a number of writers involved with the television series authored many of the comic books. The stories in the Buffy comics take place in between episodes of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV series and continue after the series ended. Issues 1 to 63 take place during the period that the series was still on the air. The earlier issues are not very easy to place in the series other than the season they are set in. The stories get more specific later on, however. For example, the Oz Buffy comics fill in the storyline of Oz's character before he leaves the TV series, and the death of Buffy comics clearly take place between seasons 5 and 6 of the series. Starting in 2007, a new series of Buffy comics has been produced, also published by Dark Horse Comics. These are canonical continuation of the television series and as such are considered Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 8. One of the other comics considered canon is the eight-part series Frey, since the main character, Malaka Frey, appears in Season 8. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 8 takes place after the series ended, and the issues are written by Joss Whedon to continue the storyline. A subsequent season 9 series followed, accompanied by a companion or sister series, Angel and Faith, which is set during the same time period and interchanges plots and characters. The comic books continue into season 10. The number 2 vampire hunter on our list is Blade. 
a fictional character in the Marvel Comics universe created by writer Marv Wolfman and penciler Gene Colan. His first appearance was in the comic book Tomb of Dracula No. 10 in 1973 as a supporting character. The character went on to star and co-star in several comic book series as well as a Blade film series and television series. Actor Wesley Snipes portrayed the vampire hunter in the Blade film series while Kirk Sticky Fingers Jones took on the role for the television series. Outside Tomb of Dracula, he fought the scientifically created vampire Morbius in the latter series in Adventures into Fear number 24 from 1974. Blade's first solo story came in Marvel's black and white horror comics magazine Vampire Tales number 8 in 1974. This feature continued in the following issue, February of 75. Blade debuted in his first color comic series, Blade the Vampire Hunter number 1 through 10 in 1994 through 95. Blade joined the cast of Captain Britain in MI-13, beginning with issue number 5 in 2008. And the number one vampire hunter on our list of top 10 vampire hunters in the world of comic books is none other than Dracula's arch-nemesis, Abraham Van Helsing. Van Helsing was portrayed in the Tomb of Dracula Marvel Comics series, which was based on the characters from Bram Stoker's novel. In the Marvel Comics miniseries, X-Men Apocalypse vs. Dracula, Van Helsing joins forces with the immortal mutant Apocalypse and his worshippers, Clan Akaba in order to destroy Dracula, their common enemy. It is noted that Van Helsing has encountered Apocalypse before and previously believed him a vampire. In an Italian comic book, Martin Mystery, he became a vampire after being bitten by one, and after destroying Dracula, he came to London to solve the case of Jack the Ripper. In the comic series Victorian Undead, Sherlock Holmes vs. Dracula, the detectives Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson are engaged by a maritime insurance company to investigate the deaths of the crew of the schooner the Demeter and cross paths with the characters who are searching for Dracula. That was our list of top 10 vampire hunters in the world of comic books. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos which will come out each week. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day. And until next time, this is Kevin Gibbons saying so long. Ashley, we're ready for you guys. Get these, get knocked out from the platform. <laughs> Who else is coming in? Um, I'd like to try something cool with you too. You're smearing your lipstick. <laughs> no, nice. I don't even know if I just swallowed the whatever is on my lips. The things that people go through just to get ready for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I should have helped you up. I'm sorry. I'm more concerned about getting shot than I am to help the poor lady up. All right, guys, come this way a little bit. But I'm really excited. Right there. And these shots will be like y'all. Pretending to be happy. Yeah. These will be more glamorous looking. I'll see you next time, okay? Okay, buddy. Bye, guys. Darren has left the building. Ashley said in this, Christopher, stand behind her, get three shots, and we're done. Who do you prefer? Hey Jeffrey, Nobody. I can change out, right? Yes, Every, everybody, everybody else is wrapped. Anybody who wants wrap? us, awesome. like, Everybody's wrapped. That is true. Yeah. Nowadays. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, we're going to do something later with him on the side. I would maybe head out. So yeah. Maybe just stand beside. Yeah. Gucci, Gucci, Goo. Stop flirting. I can't help it. Well, I was going over here to meet you.
Oh, yeah, nice to see you. I know. It looks so different. You put both your hands Yeah, but it's cool, though. I was thinking maybe I should do that to my beard. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. All right. Cool. We're done, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff.